What are your expectations that you're holding, you know, your teams to? I, I like what you've done in, in Utah. Yeah. You know, just mm -hmm. coming along, coming along, coming along. We're, it's where we are. But I went through it in Memphis. You know, uh, young Mike Conley, young O.J. Mayo, young Rudy Gay, uh, rookie Marc Gasol, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And we were, we were young. And, and I thought Lionel Holmes just did a fantastic job. And, mm -hmm. you know, the, he was also given time which we all are all asking for, right? A couple more <laughs> years or whatever, but that, hey, we're going to ride this with you. And, and guys bought into just going out and working hard. And the, the wins didn't jump. They jumped the second year. And, and then they, they acquired Zach Randolph. So we found a closer. We guys had confidence that we could win close games. We had yeah. we're running turn four last, oh, yeah. you know, four minutes of this, <laughs> you know. Uh, but that's, that's where a good it, play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you stop it? Right side. <laughs> so what would you tell uh, uh, someone who wanted to be a, a, a head coach, a young coach in the league, about what makes a successful culture, if you want to use that word, if that's the word that that applies here? I think you got to start with trust. You, you know, you, it goes both ways. You know, the player has to trust the coach and the trust, and the coach has to trust the player. And if it goes that way, everything will follow. You know, being honest, shooting straight, uh, that's the one thing we believe in Milwaukee is, you know, when you shoot straight, the player might not like it. It might sting, but he walks away going, he, the coach never lied to me. So our, that's that's what that's what we started with when we got to Milwaukee and and the guys believe